Hi, I'm Carrie Louise Donnell, naturopathic doctor and founder of the Live Well Center. And I'm Nancy Fitzgerald. In today's segment, we're going to talk about resolving, not managing food allergies and total digestive repair. Now, Dr. Donnell, I know that this is near and dear to your heart, and that's because for years you struggled with this. Tell me about that. That's true. For 10 years, I struggled with chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, two autoimmune diseases, including Graves' disease, where your thyroid goes too fast, and crippling rheumatoid arthritis. I was also struggling with food allergies, multiple chemical sensitivities, dander, pollen allergies, and eczema, which was probably worse than you can imagine. It sounds like a little thing, but eczema can be debilitating too. Wow, was there anything working right in your body at that point? You know, I felt like I was too young to be that broken, and I used to be afraid of, you know, what's my life gonna be like as I get older? Yeah, so tell me, did you ever get well, or how did, you, how did your path lead you to where you are now? You know, I tried everything over the years, and I'm kind of a type A, driven, disciplined person. And so I was wheat-free, dairy-free, gluten-free, yeast-free, soy-free, sugar-free, you name it, free. And I was good at it for years. And all that seemed to happen was, with everything that I gave up, I would replace it with something maybe that I had never heard of, like quinoa or millet or something else. And then I would just become sensitive to that over time. Very frustrating because when you work that hard, you expect to get a result. And I simply wasn't seeing that. And so um, as my disease continued to worsen, I was fortunate enough to be pursuing a doctorate in naturopathic medicine up in Seattle, Washington at Bastyr University. And although it was very hard to be that sick and going through medical school, I also was surrounded with good science. And at some point, I was able to put the science together behind totally and comprehensively repairing my digestive system, which treated at the causal level, allowed the rest of my body to completely heal itself of all its other maladies. Yeah. Bouncing off the walls, get out of my way, just want to save the world before I die well. <laughs> and so I felt like I won the health lottery when I, when I got my health back. It seems like it would be a miracle, but it's not. It's, it's science. Yes, the science of the entire digestive system is known. And if you know how to match the pathology or what's broken there with the various different supportive constituents that are available in natural medicine, you can truly work at the causal level and restore that system to normal. When that system is normal, your immune system is normal, your neurological system is normal, your ability to produce energy and get away from inflammation, which we all know is terrible for your health, just becomes normal. And really normal is optimal. Is there a maintenance protocol? You know, for people who battle ulcerative colitis and Crohn's, they would be wise to do a little something along the way to prevent flares. For everyone else, no. The caveat being celiac disease. We can repair against the damage of celiac disease, but we can't take away the fact that that person will always have to avoid gluten for the rest of their life. So for them, maintaining would be avoiding gluten. So how does poor digestive health lead to food allergies, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, autoimmune challenges, and eczema? Well, when the digestive system is broken, the, the intestinal lining, which should look like this, and be very, very picky about what gets across to the bloodstream mm -hmm. and to the rest of your body, your liver, your immune system, etc. It looks like this. It's somewhat like a sieve and it's a free flow and everything gets across when it shouldn't. Unfortunately, that triggers immune reactions, which can be autoimmune and inflammatory. It also allows a lot of free radicals and toxins to go through, mm -hmm. which really overburden the rest of your system because they're not used to seeing that and they're not equipped to deal with that kind of load. And so when you shore up the inappropriate relationship between what should be within what they call the lumen of your small intestine, where it would just go through and leave your body, uh -huh you can get your life back because now you're not triggering all those other things to happen. It's truly working at the causal level. Dr. Janelle, your motto is eliminate the elimination diet. And I'm sure a lot of people who are watching me now are like, oh, what? It's blasphemy no. in our profession. Yeah, why? You know, a lot of patients will come in and say, I was supposed to be wheat free and dairy free, but I never could follow it. And they look so guilty and I, I could have been better, but I didn't do it. And I say, I'm going to let you off the hook here. I did follow it to the T for years. And all I did was get sicker and sicker and lose more and more foods with every passing year. And I remember in my worst days without even knowing the answer thinking, what if 
it's not the food that's the problem. Because, you know, healthy whole food in a wide range of variety is really well tolerated by everyone else. What if the problem is the way my body interacts with that food? And instead of eliminating those foods, what if I simply eliminated the terrible way that my body looks at them? Because the food really isn't the enemy. Dr. Donnell, let's talk about some of your digestive repair patients. What are they like? You know, they're a, a, a complicated and interesting bunch, and they will break your heart, but they'll inspire you at the same time. They'll break your heart because if you really listen to them, they usually have a very long story, and it's a story of struggle and courage against all odds. And the details of their suffering vary patient to patient, uh, but they're more than anybody would really voluntarily ever want to endure for a day, let alone a year or 10 years or three decades. Now on the flip side of that, they are the most tenacious, hard trying, responsible people that you will ever meet. They don't give up. They yeah. keep turning over every stone. The amount of work that they have to do to get through every day would blow your mind. And so you're inspired by the effort. And, um, and, it, and I believe them and I get it because I walked in those moccasins. And so they, they are people who truly take responsibility for their health like very few other people ever will know they have to do. And so a lot of respect goes out to those people. And unfortunately, on the other hand, they have been met within, um, within care providers' uh, practices, whether they be conventional or natural, with a couple of different very discouraging situations. One might be that they simply don't believe them. And that is really heartbreaking to someone who has gone so far as to have the courage to try again, knowing that you know it probably won't work, nothing ever does, and then to have that look come across the doctor's face, whether they're natural or whether they're conventional. I mean, it happens on both sides of the fence where they don't really believe them or they think it's all in their head, and that's tough. The other look that you might get is um, the doctor might look like, hey, you make me feel like a failure because I don't know what to do with you, and if you could exit my office quickly, that would be really nice for all of us. And so then you know that once again, you've reached out and you're in the wrong place. And so um, hats off to those people. They, they just are so strong and so brave, and they have so little to work with because they're so broken at the same time. Sure. So they're really an amazing group of people. Well, I can't imagine what that would be like. You're in pain. It's embarrassing. They, nobody believes you that this is going on. It's all in your head. What is that like to live that life? You know, unfortunately, even the people that love you, truly do love you, your friends and your family, they don't always believe you either. And after a while, kind of annoyed by the fact that you're just not bouncy and healthy. And it just hurts. And you know they don't mean it and they don't understand it. And thank goodness, maybe they never will. But it's hard. Yeah. Yes, it's very hard. You must love to just wrap your arms around those patients because you've been there. I love it when they come in. I'm like, get on in here. It's time to get going. Um, yes, um, I can look them in the eye. I absolutely believe them. And I have a really logical, organized plan to help them get from point A to point B. So it's really fun. Yeah, that's exciting. That's the happy ending. Yeah, who doesn't want to give good news? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say to those who have done it all and they're still so sick and they're sitting there in front of you? Never give up. You know, until you've quit, you haven't failed. And I know you've tried a lot. I've tried a lot. My patients have tried a lot of times more than I even tried. But never, never give up. Keep looking. Find that perfect fit for your situation. If your body's broken, there is an answer. Not everybody knows that answer, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Dr. Donnell, I've had the privilege of talking to some of your patients who you've truly changed their lives. Let's hear from some of them. I have IBS, um, irritable bowel syndrome which uh, the medical profession runs from. There's no medication to give me, and so it's all in my head. It's hell. Um, it's very, very, very painful. Um, I suppose the mildest issue is a lot of bloating. Um, I'm rather rude to be around when it's flaring. Um, but it's very, very painful. One never knows what the system is going to do, so it's kind of difficult to go out. Yeah. It was difficult to have a very comfortable life. I've had um, about 14 inches of my colon removed as a result of, of uh, diverticulitis, which is, you know, all the digestive issues. So I, I um, began to address this with Dr. Donnell, and she said, 
are you ready for the protocol? Because it's, it's a long-term issue. And in the beginning, there were a number of supplements. I think we must have worked 18 months with things gradually getting better, 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 better. After probably a total of two years, then she was able to say, all right, now you just do maintenance. Well, I'm losing weight. I know, <laughs> it's lovely. Oh, it's, it's just been life changing to work with Dr. Donnell. First of all, she's very respectful. I've been able to share with her, even from the get-go, that I had done some research, that I had a little bit of understanding, and she was willing to hear that and then build on it and help me expand that understanding. The intellect is, it's a beautiful mind. It really is to work with her. Yeah, yeah. and she's so caring mm -hmm. and so much fun. Yeah. We laugh a lot. When I was diagnosed with Graves' disease, I was not able to sleep well. Um, I could probably take in 5,000 calories a day and still be hungry. Uh, just raciness, jitters. Um, it seemed like I never slept. Graves' disease is the infection in the thyroid in terms of your autoimmune system. You can be hyperthyroid or hypothyroid. In my case, I was hyperthyroid. It would rank as one of the worst things I've ever gone through in my life, and I'm more than 50. Original consultation was scheduled for an hour. She talked to me almost an hour and 45 minutes. She wanted to know every single detail so that she could then move from there. She was able, from my blood test, to see what I was lacking, my levels, uh, to get those all in place where I could function normally. Now, I sleep well, I sleep very well. Um, I'm able to take in a regular, normal diet and half of what I was eating. Um, my clarity is back. I can focus longer. I can stay present in what I'm doing. I'm not on any medication, just my supplements that Dr. Donnell assigns me, but in terms of traditional medicine, blood pressure, any of those things, no, none at all, just my supplements. Very happy. I feel now that I have a balance in my life. I feel that I've gotten my life back because I was flying, just flying. It's just a raciness that you would feel all the time. Now everything is normal and I'm, I'm very pleased. When I came to see Dr. Donnell, I was uh, in a lot of pain and I had a tremendous fatigue. I was to the point that I thought I was going to have to give up my career in education. The fatigue was really becoming overwhelming, even making my legs work. I can remember getting out of the car and say, okay, legs, you gotta get out of the car and get in. The rheumatologist I went to finally diagnosed me with fibromyalgia and um, rheumatoid arthritis and put me on prednisone. And of course I blew up like a balloon. <laughs> But I was also, I also had a high blood pressure. I also uh, had thyroid problems, so I was on medications for both of those. I am off of all medications. I don't take anything. Well, it was, it was tough. You could tell she was, had a lot of pain. Uh, she wasn't depressed, but she was heading that way. She had other plans, <laughs> travel, hobbies, things. And we had to be healthy. We liked to hike, you know. I couldn't even get my legs to move, much less go up a mountain. I'd never had a doctor sit down and talk to me for an hour about everything that was going on, and ever, you know. She explained to me about how the, my body was fighting itself. I started with her nine years ago, and here I am. And I can do anything I want to. We can go swim with the dolphins, and I got my life back. Health is an investment. We invest our money for our retirement. We have to invest for our health the very same way because if we don't, I wasn't going to have a life after, you know, 50. <laughs> I was going to be done. Worth every penny. I would pay more. Don't tell her that, though. <laughs>
Thank you so much for joining us today. Now, if you'd like to learn more about digestive health, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, autoimmune challenges, allergies, and eczema, or meet with Dr. Donnell to see if she can help you and get your health back on track, give her office a call at 303-399-8050 or visit her website at drdonnell.com. Now, if you would like a CD of Dr. Donnell doing an intense lecture just on this very topic, you can call her office and get a copy and they would be more than happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us.